Okay, Ryan, here we are in our series of messing up total knee replacements. We've done a trial total knee. We're at, we're at a demo t total knee. We're at the trial phase. Uh, we've got a rotating platform total knee replacement, uh, but we're not, we're not liking the feel of this for a few reasons. One, in full extension, when I push this, I can get a little recurve atom here. When I test it in full extension, I'm really opening up in valgus and I'm opening up in varus. Uh, what makes me happy here is that I'm opening up symmetrically, so I don't think our, our, our gap is asymmetric, but that amount of opening is certainly abnormal and not appropriate. It's normal to get two, three, maybe up to four millimeters of opening, but that amount of opening is too much. So in our extension gap, we're, we're too loose here for sure because we're hyperextending and we're loose, okay? To determine what to do with that, it depends on what's happening with the flexion gap, and then we can have a look, is it symmetric or asymmetric? And when I take that through a range of motion, in deep flexion, again, my poly is not lined up. I'm very loose in flexion, okay? Mid-flexion is a very difficult thing to assess. We talk about mid-flexion instability all the time. Um, the problem is, is that it's hard to get stability on the femoral side to test those ligaments in, in mid-flexion. Luckily, with this model, we've got some tricks up our sleeve where we can actually have a look at that mid-flexion instability. Okay, so what we've done here is something that you could never do in the main operating room. When we've cut our flexion gap, we've drawn out the transepicondylar axis, and we've drawn it off to the soft tissues. We've put a rod in here just so we can stabilize that distal femur, and we can really test flexion uh, extension valgus varus through that arc of motion. So our rod mimics the transepicondylar axis. We're going to put our femoral component back on. We're going to take out our knee. We're going to go mid-flexion, and if you hold that solid there, when I look, I can see a significant amount of opening on the lateral side in varus and a lot of opening on the medial side uh, in mid-flexion. If we take that out into extension, again, we've talked about this is loose. It's easier to do in, in, in extension. The femur can be stabilized, but in full flexion, again, we can take it out, and we can see a lot of motion here without, uh, without the components uh, meeting together well. Okay, so let's come back into mid-flexion. So our problem here is that we're too loose in extension, we're too loose in flexion, so that problem is a symmetric problem through the arc of motion. Like we've talked about, if it's a symmetric problem, we deal with it on the tibial side. If it's an asymmetric problem, we deal with it on the femoral side. So here, we need to build up the tibial side. We need to make that joint tighter in flexion and extension, and it's a fairly easy fix. This patient needs more polyethylene, okay? So if we, if we swap that poly, poly, polyethylene out to a thicker poly, then we should solve our problem. That's a pretty big gap, so I'm going to jump that up to a 10. It feels better. Okay. So we've added an extra 5 millimeters of polyethylene here to fix our flexion and extension gap problem. So just let me take it free for a second. So I'm going to take it out in extension first. We're out in the full extension. And that still may be a little tight. That may be, we may have overdone it because we still have a flexion contracture here. It's still feeling a little tight. But it certainly fixed our problem but may have overcorrected it. Okay. In full extension, I'm seeing a little bit of opening, not much. So I think we're, we're probably two or th maybe two millimeters too tight in extension. And as I take that through flexion, same thing, we're mating way far better down here. When you hold that transepicondylar axis, then I can stress that in flexion and things certainly tighten up a lot more. So we fixed our problem. We've probably overcorrected it. I've gone from a five to a 10. I'll drop that back to an eight and I think our problem will be fixed. All right, saved. Perfect.